In this video, we're going to explore uh, what happens when we have an inventory error uh, as far as financial reporting and how we're going to make that correction in our uh, accounting records. We're going to be using exercise 9-27. In this case, uh, the auditors for a company discovered that a uh, material purchase that should have been recorded in 2013 was recorded instead in 2012. However, the physical inventory count of 2012 was correct. So let's think about what the effect of this was on financial reporting. This company has a periodic inventory system purchases are added to our beginning inventory we then would subtract out the ending inventory to determine the cost of goods sold if purchases were overstated as is the case here because four million dollars in purchases was erroneously included in 2012 well that would mean that cost of goods sold is also understated so let's take a look at the effect of this right in this as we go through and we look at our formula that determines the cost of goods sold which is then used to determine net income which is then used to determine changes in retained earnings we're going to look at each item and determine if it's been understated, overstated, if the error has been self-correcting, therefore has no effect, or the balance reported is correct. So let's take a look at our beginning inventory. We had no errors to our beginning inventory that we know about, so that is correct. Net purchases. Well, they're going to be overstated. Ending inventory, however, is correct. Remember, the ending inventory count, the number of units on hand, was correct. So the assumption made was that all of that purchase that was improperly accounted for in 2012, the assumption was that that was sold, that was added to cost of goods sold. So cost of goods sold is overstated. So if net purchases are overstated, cost of goods sold is going to be overstated. If cost of goods sold is overstated, it's not going to have any effect on the revenue recognition, so that was reported correctly. Cost of goods sold, as we determined, was overstated. Other expenses are correct, and if we overstate cost of goods sold, that means we're going to understate net income and that means retained earnings is also understated. So the overstatement in purchases causes the cost of goods sold to be overstated. That then gets transferred onto the, back, uh, onto the income statement. The overstatement of cost of goods sold uh, results in net income being understated that income flows through to retained earnings, so it is, at the end of 2012, understated by the same amount. So at the end of 2012, our temporary accounts are closed out. So cost of goods sold is closed out, revenues are closed out, purchases are closed out. Our ending inventory is correct. So in 2012, our beginning inventory is going to be correct. However, net purchases will be understated because the 2013 purchases will not include the $4 million, which was recorded incorrectly as being made in 2012. So at the end of 2013, as the error is discovered, we're going to make a correcting journal entry that is going to correct the fact that our purchases are understated. Well, we're going to need to increase purchases by 
four million dollars. We don't need to change anything with inventory. We can't do anything with cost of goods sold, which was understated at the last year because it's been closed out. What we need to do is address the understatement of retained earnings. We need to raise retained earnings, our equity account, through an equal credit of $4 million. 